Hello everyone and welcome back to Rapid Direct Channel. This is Betty. You may have received feedback from CNC machining shops urging to incorporate rounded internal corners instead of sharp ones in your designs. But why is that? Today I'm going to find out and provide insight into how Rapid Direct deals with sharp internal corners. Well, to understand why avoiding sharp internal corners, it's important to know that the common cutting tools used in CNC machining are cylindric in shape. As a result, they inevitably create a radius when cutting an internal pocket. Although they are method to machine sharp corners, this method often escalates CNC machining cost. That's why we advise our clients to reconsider the necessity of sharp internal corners in their designs. If sharp corners aren't essential, we generally recommend opting for rounded corners to reduce cost. So, what's the minimum corner radius that Rapid Direct can machine? Typically, the size of the cutting tool determines the radius. It's advisable to use the largest radius possible to minimize cost. Smaller tools require CNC mills to run at slow speeds, resulting in longer material removal times. A rule of thumb is to keep the corner radius greater than one third cavity depth. At Rapid Direct, our typical minimum fitted radius is 1.5 mm. Of course, we can also use smaller tools with a diameter of 1 mm to machine a 0.5 mm radius. But this increased cost and isn't suitable for every design. Are there other ways to achieve 90 degree sharp internal corners? Well, use dog bone or T bone fillets can be an excellent option. These techniques involve an expanded or overshot cut in a part, essentially pushing the cutter further into the material than required. And you can use electric discharge machining EDM depending on the design, while EDM or thick EDM can be employed for internal corner machining with internal contours and corners down to 0.02 mm. EDM process no direct contact between the two and the workpiece, allowing delicate sections and weak materials to be machined without distortion. However, due to its slower processing speed, both time and cost significantly increase. And remember, EDM is only suitable for conducting materials like metal. The simplest solution, manual cutting, grab your pull zone, stand chisels or corner chisel and square those corners yourself. This method is particularly suitable for plastic parts or thin metal components. And there you have it. In conclusion, from a design for manufacturability standpoint, rounded corners are generally easier to machine than sharp corners. If you are looking to reduce your machining cost, go with rounded internal corners. That's all for today's video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content from Rapid Direct. Bye!